What, what are you kind of your, your thoughts on your season so far? Is it your strongest start to a season um, in the EWS? Mm, yeah, yeah, definitely strongest start. Um, yeah, it's been really good so far. Like, it's been, uh, it's not been plain sailing. Like, in Tasmania, I had the win. Well, not in the bag, but, you know, I had a bit of a lead before the last stage and crashed and threw it away. So that was, you know, a bit of a bittersweet second. And then Rotorua was kind of similar, like I had a puncture, so I lost in time, but still ended up fifth, which was kind of second out of the, you know, the riders that were doing the full se- that kind of contenders for the full series because there was a bit of a weather change thing, so I'm sure, as you know. Mm-hmm, um, yeah. So, uh, yeah, like it was a hectic start, but it... In the and after everything was said and done, it's all all the races have ended up pretty well. So yeah, definitely strongest start of the season for me. Is there any like one thing you'd put it down to? Is there anything you've changed um, over the off season or through the season so far though, that you think uh, has, has made a difference? It's kind of a combination of things. Like I think experience is one, and then just I've just, I've just kind of enjoyed it more this year. Like I've been less less structured in my training and more just kind of go with what I want to do and what I feel like doing. Mm. Like still having structured training but not like stressing if I don't do something at the exact time of the day or whatever it is you know and it's kind of taking that step back has made me enjoy it more and end up training way better because I want to do it and I want to do all the little details around training like you're stretching and all those small things and all that's just added up to uh to yeah just feeling good on the bike like uh bike feels great as well like it's our second year now on this the 29er cube stereo so that's that was nice as well, not to be trying to set up a new bike or any of that stuff. Mm-hmm. And uh, when yeah, you say yeah, it's just a combination of those kind of things. When you say you feel a bit more experienced, is that in terms of like race experience, knowing uh, when to push and, and stuff like that as well? Yeah, exactly. Like it's still it's only my third season professional, so I'm still learning a lot and I'm improving a lot with like every yeah, every race I do, I learn something. And yeah, it's just knowing like turning up to a race and kind of feeling like it's almost going through the motions like it's just kind of what you do now it's not like i don't know it's not as daunting um and then yeah like the in in stage things like knowing knowing what my body wants to eat during a race weekend uh knowing how hard i can push or knowing where you can take a risk in a stage or where you should ride safe and just just all the little things that just make your race weekends easy and kind of run smooth going kind of back to Madeira when you looked at the track were you kind of thinking oh you know this is this is one I could I could win what were your first thoughts when you saw the track mm, yeah it was, uh, it was quite a mixture actually because yeah I saw most of the track from part like yeah I can definitely do well here like I knew there was a lot of physical stuff in it and I know I'm fit so I knew that I could play in my hand and then the wet stuff like it's, it was really slippy there mm. which a lot of that I knew would be good for me but then some of it like stage three the top of it was just like real slippy rocks and like it wasn't like slippy rocks into an iceberg it was just slippy rocks into slippy rocks into slippy rocks and like there was no escape or somewhere that like a berm could catch around and normally whenever i ride that stuff i'm terrible right. because i just get real scared and ride real stiff and like mm. yeah like it's, like it's kind of like that lake garda like that slippy rock and yeah, yeah. i just have my absolute passion on it normally but um yeah come, come race i managed to just kind of block all that out and just try ride it yeah, like a normal track, and it worked out. So it was quite, those kind of things were quite daunting, but I knew overall it could be it'd be a good race for me. Yeah. Yeah. Um, at what point did you think the win might be on? You were you were 15 seconds back after day one. Were you, were you confident then, or was it uh, you know kind of part way through day two? When when did you start <coughs> to feel like it might be in the bag? Um, it was weird because I didn't really think about it too much. Mm. Um. After stage one, and you like after the first stage, you kind of know how your weekend's gonna go because you'll be, you know, you'll either be twentieth or you'll be in the mix, right? Yeah. And you'll know like, right, that was a good run, and I'm twentieth, so that's kind of where I'm gonna be, mm. if you know what I mean. And I knew I was fifth on that, so I kind of knew then, like, right, I'll be in the mix this weekend. And then, yeah, going into overnight, I knew, like, I'd, I'd had a safe date, like, I knew I definitely could have ridden faster that day, and there was. Like I left time out there, but I just stayed upright and kept my bike healthy. Yeah. So I knew overnight that the win was definitely an option, and um, yeah, it was good to see Jesse get a mechanical. Yeah. But um, he's definitely, you know, he's someone that I don't know. He struggled a bit to put together long weekends like that because he's, 
he just he's so he's so on the limit that he just crashes so much because I kind of knew in my head that something might happen. Like I didn't want anything to happen to him, but I just knew something might happen. Yeah. And in the end, it was a bit of a random thing that he did did happen to him. But um, yeah, I didn't. I was kind of surprised. Like after stage seven, when I was told I was in the lead, uh-huh. I was like, right, okay, I guess that's that's happening then. <laughs> <laughs> because well, I did. I knew like I knew that Adrian had crashed. Yeah. Because Adrian was riding behind me, and I finished stage five, and he didn't turn up. Yeah. So, so I was like, "All oh, right, okay, so I'm up to second now." Mm-hmm. And then on the top of stage seven, we heard Jesse's tire blow. Right. And then I was like, "All oh, right, so right." And then it's between me and Damien now because I knew me and Damien were like a second apart at that point. Mm-hmm. So it was kind of all day. It was just like watching people drop away and seeing myself move up. And there was no, yeah, there was no one moment. Yeah, yeah. Where. It was like, right, this is on. Um, so looking forward to Ireland, um, obviously going for the hat trick. Um, is, is that more pressure? Is it less pressure and you can perform well? Like, where, where do you where do you see it? Um, it's a tricky one. But, but yeah, pressure definitely on. Like, it's definitely more pressure than I've had other years because the first year people thought maybe I could do it, but they didn't expect it. So there was no pressure the first year, really. Oh. To win anyway, and then the second year it was like, well, I'm not mad you did that. Would it be funny if you did it again? And then I did it again. <laughs> <laughs> but that, that was kind of people's attitude towards it. And then this year, people have already been saying to me like, "Oh, so that's the race that you just win, isn't it?" And I was mm. like, "No, that's not. It's not that simple." <laughs> so, yeah, like I feel like now people are just expecting me to win when it's not going to be easy. Like I feel like I've got a bit of a target on my back because mm. I think a lot of riders want it kind of. You know, they want to knock me off that throw. They don't want to just see the local guy win every year. So, yeah, they're definitely, definitely going for me. Is there still a home advantage after kind of two races? You know, like the each year the advantage gets less as people learn the track, doesn't it? How, how much of an advantage do you think is still there? Do you think you've still got some lines in your locker? Um, yeah, well, it's, it's interesting because everyone assumes that I do well there because I know the stages when actually since the race the first year I haven't really gone back there. Right. Like I, I haven't been there since the race last year, mm-hmm. so like I've heard they built a new stage. Like I've never seen it, so I'm not going to have any special lines on that. And um, I think it's more like the stages are shorter than what we typically race, and I'm used to racing that short, high intensity stuff. Yeah. And then the crowd, like the crowd, just lifts me massively. Like it's it's so so cool. Mm. So I think it's more a combination of just knowing the style of the race rather than the actual stages. Yeah. And then, yeah, just, just having that home advantage and just the adrenaline of all that stuff just raises your game as well. I guess the other thing that's different this year is the, uh, the fact that you're, you're first in the overall now. Is, that, is it too early for you to be thinking about that or is, it, is that going to play into things a bit? Um, yeah, no, it is, it is kind of in my head because there, I do have a, a, have, a, have a decent gap for it so early in the season, so I'd like to try to hold on to that. But um, I think... Even though, even thinking about that just means win races because uh, if I try to go easy to get points, the guys behind me are just going to beat me. Yeah. So <laughs> in order in order to hang out as I lead, I need to be beating those guys, and that probably means winning. Yeah. So uh, yeah, it's still just just balls out. Gas, yeah.